So I'm on imagechef.com slash IC slash poem. And I am on a website that helps me make a shape poem. So I have uh, chosen a photo and I am going to crop my photo because it needs to be in a square form. And um, I'm going to be using this eventually to trace the shape that I want my poem in. So I'm going to press crop. And then it's going to load it up onto the computer as I um, get ready for the next step. So here is the photo. And as you can see, they have a pre-made um, word poem, a, a shape poem in the background. And I don't really want that one. So I am going to actually go and um, go create new symbol. Now, create new symbol comes up, and as you can see, there is a box here that I can start drawing in. I can do freehand drawing, or shape drawing, or whatever I want. Well, I want to actually trace a photo, and I want to trace the photo that I selected for my background. So I'm going to select my photo here, and it should load, and then I'll be able to trace the outline. So my photo's been loaded, and now I'm going to do a freehand trace, and I'm going to use the pen here and hopefully trace my photo. Now you can choose your shape poem to be either inside the shape or outside of the shape, and I am probably going to have mine be outside of the shape so I can have um, a couple more things on my um, shape poem because I have a lot to say about this particular picture as I'm sure most of all of you will also. So then you have uh, these little dots appear and you can actually manipulate the shape however you see fit. I know I did an okay job tracing the shape. Um, I'm going to expand this a little bit or leave it. And uh, voila. Then you're going to press this button here, done. And then it should take you back to the other site. Now you can see my the pre-made poem is around my picture. And so I have decided that, you know, I don't want pink right now. I want to stick with that blue that was the sky. Or for my text, I want to stick with the blue that's the sky and a dark blue. And now I can start entering in my poem. So I might say something, Statue of Liberty. And then I can go to the next line and say, um, Stands for Freedom. Welcoming Gates to the USA, uh, Lady Liberty, guiding path for all immigrants. So this might just be one thing that I do. Um, and then after that, I would press preview, and then it'll show me. So here is my preview, my visual poetry, and I can change the text style. I could do grunge, notepaper, gothic, script. Um, and there's a lot of really wonderful things that can come with everything. Now, I could say fill shape area, or I could say not. Right now, it's repeating everything that I said. And I have decided that, you know, I want big text. So I am going to select big and go back down to preview. And let's see how that looks. And here it is, and now I'm going to send it to myself as an attachment. And that is the gist of it. Isn't that wonderful?